Clinical trials are very important in finding out if a medicine works and it's safe. And in fact, every medicine in the NHS has to be tested with clinical trials before it can be used. Clinical trials start with healthy volunteers and this will be the first time the medicine has been used in people. The next step is to then involve patients with the disease and to see if the medicine works. So does it delay the disease or cure the disease and is it safe? Before anybody gets involved in clinical trials, they'll sit down with the clinical trial team who will work out with them exactly what's going to happen, any risks and whether the trial is the right thing for them. As we get more information, the trials grow. So that can be more patients in more hospitals and not just in the UK, but also in Europe and around the world. Trials can take anywhere from weeks to months to years, depending on the type of disease and the type of medicine that we're studying. All of this information is then shared with the regulator who works out whether to grant a license or not. New data and technology means that we can do trials in different ways and now research diseases that previously seemed impossible. The NHS is very active in research with 700,000 patients taking part in research in diseases such as cancer, heart disease and diabetes. Clinical trials are key to how we develop the medicines of the future but we can't do it without patients and we're hugely grateful to everyone who helps make that happen. <laughs>